Several meltdowns, like tantrums, or mm. cried uncontrollably. So you have to quickly find a way how to solve the problem. A parent is also like a CSI, <laughs> CSI <laughs> investigator. You know, so nothing is just simply out of nothing happens simply out of nothing. Mm -hmm. So when you see a child is having a problem, like for example, my son uh, just this morning he was having his meltdown right in the middle of the hospital lobby. Mm -hmm. So we have to quickly do a quick audit on what causes him mm -hmm. to have that kind of tantrum. Mm -hmm. If it's due to so many people, you quickly pull him away from the crowd. If it's due to loud noise, quickly pull him away from the crowd. And you have to find ways on how to okay. calm him down. So, you know, it was quite a wrestling uh, situation mm -hmm. where you actually had to hold him. Seven years old boy, can be very very that's strong the, that's the challenge <laughs> that's that i will physical that's challenge. right that's and now we challenge. are talking about doctor you have a seven or 18 years old young man man he's bigger than his dad my god taller taller now, how broader, broader, broader dealing with shoulder. a young with a young seven year old mm. quite that quite, is, quite that, that, that is what but, but i yes. tell parents i tell parents that you must remember as we grow older and weaker they grow bigger and stronger <laughs> so when they are small when it's still able when they have a meltdown is you're still able to carry them away right. work on the behavior rather than when they are bigger than you stronger than you there's nothing you can do at that time. Point yeah <laughs> that is why we call it early intervention mm. you don't call later intervention it's early intervention meaning the earlier you start the better so what is your challenge now? Challenge now <laughs> because is... Because now he is already a young man. Mm -hmm. So what's it's, the challenge? It's puberty. It's puberty. Oh. Um, actually, actually, actually um, usually um, boys uh, go through puberty at the age of 11 and 12. So when he was uh, 11 and 12, we kept a, a close watch on his behavior. He, he didn't go through his puberty, but of late, uh, starting when he was uh, 16, He's, he began to show interest of the opposite sex, you know. Most of teachers in this area, teaching children with disabilities, are female. Mm. Uh -huh. So he starts showing interest in the teacher's anatomy, mm. sort of, you know. So if people ask me how do we deal with it, Alhamdulillah, he has a very close bonding with his father. Mm. So the father would just go <coughs> and he knows that it's not supposed to be right. touching anybody. So this is where you are now and you are going towards that direction. Actually, so how do you go about it? When it says early intervention, even on the uh, sexual issues, you actually have to start early, early. in life. So um, uh, sometimes you found him holding his you know, private, part. private parts. Mm -hmm. So we have to quickly tell them, no, don't do that. And sometimes you do social stories, tell him stories. Whether he actually understand what you're saying or not, it doesn't matter as long as you tell him. Yeah, then again, people talking. will ask, what kind of stories do you tell him like that? When, when we are, you know, <laughs> it's, it's actually a strategy. Social yes. stories is actually um, a, a strategy that helps children with autism to learn the social skills that they have impairment with. Uh, you have to actually uh, spell out clearly what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. Most typical children, they learn from peers, they learn from the situation, they learn from the environment. Mm -hmm. But with children with autism, uh, uh, even those with high functioning, you have to spell out clearly what is appropriate and not appropriate and uh, use lots of visuals. And for the younger kids, even more visual. Now, what is your advice to the parents of uh, those with uh, children that has autism? If you ever found, especially for those who have very young kids, and uh, even though then you find that there's a bit of delay in the development, quickly search for help. Don't wait. Don't simply listen to uh, old grandmother stories saying, uh, it's okay, your dad used to be like that. Oh, it's okay, he can talk in another one or two years. No, react quickly. Don't delay. Because once you do that, you can go for early intervention program. Uh, with early intervention program, a child can be taught at a very young age, even at three, four years old. Because it's, it's very difficult. If you delay, you know, a child is not like a doll that stays the same size all the time. A child grows older and older, gets bigger and bigger, so you have to teach him. Uh, it takes a lot earlier. A friend of mine was saying that 
uh, my child takes five times more or six times more to be handled to teach than a typical child so don't listen to hearsays quickly get help quickly uh, get, connected. get connected yes <laughs> you, you don't walk alone there are friends there are others who are with us you can call us or connect with us through Facebook which is under Autism Malaysia Facebook yeah and then we have a lot of advice Tell me from you doctor um, just like other typical children they need parents happy parents so yeah you want to help your uh, child with autism one of the best way to do it is to have a very strong marriage mm -hmm. because mm. most of the time most of the time uh, um, mothers have to struggle alone and mm. I'm, I'm sorry to be sexist yeah. here no, no, no. but um, <laughs> fathers think that the truth uh, has got to be told. <laughs> fathers think that they have to be the main breadwinner uh, so therefore parents can uh, mothers can deal with this uh, yeah. issue of autism but the thing is that uh, uh, in uh, autism uh, four the ratio is four to one four boys to one girl mm -hmm. so majority of them are boys, boys and when fathers don't bond with these boys when they grow older then um, where do you get that uh, father uh, role model in terms of a father figure mm -hmm. so uh, basically you need to be the best of friends with your spouse because um, it's a very uh, rough journey mm. and you need to have each other for support. Well, thank you both for, for being with us today uh, in the show and we become a more uh, knowledgeable person possibly. In just a little bit, but we need to know more. So yes, there is no total cure yet for autism at present, but it should be also pointed that educational therapy and biomedical options available today are much better than past decades and they should be much better in the future, inshallah. And with the right mix of approaches and interventions, most children with autism will be able to improve. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as we learn more, children with autism will have a better chance to live a better life and normal possibly. So that's it from us, from Real Talk. We'll meet again. All the best. God bless all of you. Salam and assalamualaikum to everyone.